Hey. Welcome to Cody Customs. Welcome back everyone. I don't know what year this golf cart is, but I'm sure as heck gonna try and make it run. This beautiful unit hasn't ran in about, I think, I don't know, years. I know years. I don't know an exact amount. I do know that everything is rusty and we need to work on that. I don't know if this battery will hold a charge, so we're gonna have to see that. I do know it's a V-twin off of something. I've looked everywhere on this thing and I cannot find a part number. So I'm hoping as we dig into it, we find out what it is. It might be under this actually. So this golf cart did not come with this motor. It was uh, put in here and I don't know by who or for what purpose, but I like them. I'm assuming it's a him. Might be a her. Could be both. I ain't sexist. Women kick butt. I haven't really dug into it. I picked it up a few weeks ago, but I haven't had time to spend on it. So today, that's what we're doing. I don't know if the motor is stuck, so that's cool. Let's get into it. Hey, look, a key. Cool. Just found that. All right. So, like I said, I don't know what motor this came out of. Oh, oh. we're going to be fighting this thing. We're going to be fighting it, guys. It's a telltale. Actually, let's just see if we can even look at the oil. I'm nervous about this. Oil. This is a big old motor. It has a teeny tiny bit of oil. I still can't tell if it's good or bad or not. I don't think it's bad, so that's good. I don't know if it's good or bad, so I guess that's bad or good. Didn't make sense. Oh yeah, by the way, throttle is this guy. I don't know, I'm confused about a lot of things right now. Let's just try and get this motor unstuck, how about it? So I think we're gonna have to cut off the chain, which is fun. Let's see. Ow. Let's investigate. Actually, there's so much that we need to do. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Battery. May need a new one. Fuel tank is full of water. That's not gas, that's water. Sorry, I'm sweaty. It's Louisiana. Wow. So, the, my. The, the, okay, so the biggest problem we're going to run into on this is obviously it's not factory. So, somebody who isn't at a factory put this together. And I'm not saying it was done well. I'm not saying it, it was done bad. I'm just saying it probably wasn't made to go 
forever or as long as it possibly can. Like factories have standards. Their stuff is usually put together with a purpose and reliability is one of their purposes. Whoever put this together, they didn't have the long term, you know, is it gonna work 10 years down the road, 20 years down the road. So we're gonna be fighting a little bit of that. There's a lot of rust. Maybe I should just soak everything down with PB Blaster. Eh, let's figure something out. I'm gonna go down, hey look. There's actually like a frame frame. Wow, that's heavy duty, man. It's a sweet frame. Man, this thing could be so awesome. Oh, oh wow. Is that how that's supposed to go? <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of that. Okay. This, this chain is junk. So I'm just gonna cut it off. It's not worth trying to save, it's, it's rotten. That's way too much extension cord. Now, usually I'm not the safest person, but the grinder got me a couple days ago pretty good. So I'm practicing safe grinding. Sounds like something they would tell you at a middle school <laughs> dance. Like practice safe grinding. Okay. Safety seven. That would matter because we're no longer hooked up to a never so that's pretty uh that's pretty locked up there hmm <laughs> is there an electric starter on this i'm so used to things not being electric start <laughs> i think there is oh. oh yeah i mean there's no pull string dummy what is this i'm gonna have to take this all apart there's so much wiring under there. Okay. There's everything is a Phillips head, which means everything is gonna strip. All right, well, let's hope for the best. Check it out. I got me some cheese its But first, cheese it. How's y'all's day going? That's pretty good. Thanks for asking. This is going to be a battle. I'm ready to go to war. I don't know what it is about PB Blaster, but it makes me laugh. Just, just going to give it a bath. Think that's enough? <laughs> this isn't factory. This isn't factory. This isn't factory. This isn't factory. This might be factory. This is the only button that probably doesn't work. Because <laughs> it's factory and everything else has been touched. Oh. Oh. Ah. I just locked it up. Why are you not coming out? You're spinning. That is a 716. Cool. Excuse me. Bucket for bolt. I don't know if this is holding anything in. Getting 
real good look at my hind end. You're making me look like a fool. Is this even important? <laughs> Just kidding. Well, that's gonna be difficult. Round two. So everything's coming up out. Wow. If you are doing something like this, or you're doing a lot of wiring, please use different color wires. They don't have to match factory, but like just, like that is not gonna be fun to figure out. It's all red wires. So that's gonna be tricky, tricky Ricky. That's our male lady. She's nice. Oh God, of course. Ow, just pinched myself. <laughs> when you wire stuff. Always make your positive and negative leads the same color. That's what you want. Uh, no, that's not what you want. This is your ground. I can see that because it's going to the frame over there. But this is your happy cable. Your positive is going up. That's why I was confused. I was like, why is the ground going up to the stutter solenoid over here? Whatever. Cheese it time. One at a time. Portion control. So we got a show start to show about all off. This that's good. This is good. The reason you want to wire something with different colors is because I don't know what this switch does. I don't know what this switch does. I don't know what this one does or this one. And all these wires go somewhere. But because they're all red, I have to trace every single wire from here back so I know what I'm looking at and where it goes. It is what it is. But just, you know, do the next guy a favor use different color wires. It doesn't have to be factory. There's a lot of turds over here. Okay. Ah, right. Well, we don't need to do that. This is an easy on off, so it's not a big deal. Go. A little mini guy over here. Okay. Did a good job keeping stuff out of there, buddy. Let's just see. <clears throat> but you don't eat pants. <clears throat> Phew. <laughs> she locked up, boy. She locked up. I mean, the other option is we can just try and charge the battery and see if it holds a charge. I think that's our next bet. Because I just, I can't get that to spin and I can see you know we do have barely some oil in there I, it's not enough for me to tell it whether or not it's got water in there or not oh uh oh uh oh I don't feel any actually that's just that was water okay so there's no oil on the dipstick that's not good <laughs> the next move is going to be get the battery out of here and then let's drop the oil these are bad booger good that's not tied down what you want well, that was easy Woo! tricky rick cool I don't know if my battery charger works. Every time I hook it up, it says something's wrong with the battery, but I don't know if that's just because I have crappy batteries or because it's broken, but I feel like it's not always correct. Out of there, get out of there. Welcome to the inside of the shop. Woo! Oh wow, so that didn't even, that didn't fit, so they just hammered it down. That's what you want. Just a pickle and a spackle. Poop. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of poop in the things I work on. 
Thank goodness it doesn't. Okay. Maybe I should take the time now to explain this and explain what's going on with the Triumph. <clears throat> so, I was working on the Triumph and I got it running really well. Okay, runs really good. And when I took it for a test drive, I was overwhelmed with how much I liked the bike. So, my lovely wife last night made a comment that instead of selling the Triumph, I sell my Honda CB750. Now I know what you're thinking. Whoa, that's nuts. And you'd be right. Mainly because I put a lot of work hours into it. I love the Triumph though. It's the very first bike I bought and it's a little bit newer it's a little bit more comfortable uh i can probably ride it a lot longer and it's probably going to be more reliable in the long run let's just be honest here i think what we're going to end up doing is we're going to sell the honda use that money to pay my brother for the triumph because I just don't ride the Honda enough. And I just don't want it to sit here. Like I would ride it more if I could just hop on it and go, but it's a vintage bike. Like it's just not that simple. It can be if I tore the motor apart. It's too much work. It's just too much work that I'm just not willing to put in right now because I'm just too busy. I just don't have the time to work on it. Triumph is ready to go. I don't have to do anything to it. It's ready to ride. So anyway, that's the update. That's why there's not a video out. I need you guys to be patient with me on that one. Let's get back to this. This is the infamous battery charger that is probably broken, but we're going to try. Negito. What? Yeah. I didn't explain what those are, that was. So I put that pole through here, like this, and I hung the carburetors for the Triumph from it so I can bench test and bench sync them uh, to check for leaks and whatnot. I like doing it with a lot of light and in a space that is right at my eyeball line. I just blow this thing up or what? It says DES. Reverse that polarity, baby. Bad battery connection. <laughs> I think that's going to do it for me today. Ugh. All right. So I did a boo-boo. It's probably been a month maybe more since my last video and I've done stuff to the golf cart that I did not film. See, I got real, real busy with work and family stuff and going out of town and just a lot of different things that led me to not filming. And honestly, I'm doing this for somebody. So like, it's not, it's not my project. So I, I had to get things rolling in the correct way. I know you're upset, understandably so. And I apologize, but I'll take you through what I've done. So for right now, I'll just go ahead and tell you, I got the motor free. That's cool. That's good. That's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's a happy thing where you like that. You might hate me because I didn't film it, but it's a good thing. And I got it to pop off and I'm gonna show you that too. Uh, what I also did was I tore out all the old wiring because all of that was junk. It was terrible. No thing would have come to, um, it, there was nothing good about it. So I took it all out. Uh, one, cause I rewired everything which is funny because I 
kept it all red wires. I'm gonna end up rewiring it correctly, but I wanted to get the motor to pop off, so that's why it's still red wires going everywhere. I got a little new key switch that I am using to start it uh, because the other key switch that was in there, uh, I don't have a key for. So now it has keys. Electric starter works. I did a oil change on it. The first time I put oil in it, it dripped everywhere, all out, because the oil filter was rusted through on the bottom. Cool. So at least we know now where all the previous oil went and why there's only water, or why there was only water in that motor. So now, we got fresh oil in there with a new oil filter, and none of the oil is leaking out of the engine. And somehow the back, one of the back tires is holding air again right now dry rotted like crazy and it's gonna blow up but we're gonna get new tires and we still need a chain but the motor's free we got it to pop off we as in you and me we're in this together okay I am really sorry I didn't film any of it it's just I got I got really busy I got really busy and there was just too much that I was having to juggle and filming just fell to the wayside. So I apologize, but there's more videos coming and this is one of them. So I'm going to put this video out and the next video, oh, the next video is going to be us getting that thing fully functional, fully drivable and then We'll go from there. So I'm excited about that. It's gonna be awesome. And again, I'm sorry I didn't film it, but the next video is gonna be awesome because again, we're gonna get it running, we're gonna get it driving, and all of that goodness. It's gonna be fun. Thank you. Okay, bye.